On today's show, Donald Trump's cabinet picks go from mildly amusing to terrifying in the span of a day. Tulsi Gabbard is director of national intelligence. Fox News host Pete Hegseth is defense secretary. Matt Gates is attorney general. And the one that broke just before we started recording, RFK Jr. as the Secretary of Health and Human Services. What a lineup! What Man, a lineup. We, are, we are back into it, aren't we? We are. Fuck. Okay. Um, if you want to hear, uh, if for a change you want to hear the most hopeful conversation I've had about politics since the election, uh, stick around later for my conversation with New Jersey's new senator-elect, Andy Kim. Love Andy Kim. Love Andy Kim. More Andy Kims. Fewer all these other people we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, that that's your take today is more Andy Kim's, fewer Matt Gates's. Yeah, right. That's why, that's why going, people tune in. It's <laughs> going out on a ledge. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to have a uh, decidedly less hopeful conversation about these Trump cabinet picks and their confirmation prospects. Uh, who knew our favorite nominees would be uh, Marco Rubio and Elise Stefanik? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Gates knew. That's who. Uh, on Monday, he wasn't even on Trump's shortlist for the position. Two days later, the two men were on a flight to D.C. together, and apparently, that's all it took to get the job. Uh, a Trump advisor told the Bulwark's Mark Caputo that the president-elect didn't like the other attorney general contenders because, quote, they talked about their vaunted legal theories and constitutional bullshit. Gates was the only one who said, yeah. I'll go over there and start cutting fucking heads. Sounds like he nailed the interview. I'm, don't I'm give laughing me your, because I'm crying. Me, don't give me your legal theories and your bullshit about the Constitution. I want you to cut some fucking heads. Gates would go from being investigated by the Justice Department for sex trafficking to leading the Justice Department. And while that two-year investigation into Gates for sex trafficking didn't lead to any charges, the House Ethics Committee was just about to release a damning report about allegations that Gates had sex with a minor. Um, ABC News just broke that the uh, woman in question testified before Congress that she was 17 when she had sex with Matt Gates. Um, but anyway, that reports it's no longer happening because Gates conveniently resigned his seat now that he's been nominated for attorney general. The Florida congressman is one of Trump's most loyal supporters. But he hasn't won any popularity uh, contests in Congress, Dan. Uh, here's some of what other Republicans and even Trump supporters have said about Matt Gates. I served with some real scumbags. Look, uh, uh, Matt Gates, uh, he paid uh, minors to have sex with him at drug parties. We had all seen the videos he was showing on the House floor that all of us had walked away of the girls that he had slept with. He'd brag about how he would uh, crush ED medicine and, and, and chase it with... Um, with an energy drink so he could go all night. <laughs> I would compare him to that toddler that we've all seen at the family barbecue, mm -hmm. eating toilet paper, what? <laughs> shoving, shoving Cheerios up his nose to get attention. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a mix of comments, huh? Have From, you seen a toddler eat toilet paper? Uh, no. No, no, nor I don't. Has, have any of your kids ever put Cheerios up their nose? They have put other food up their nose. Mm. I have I have a friend whose kid put something so far, a nut so far up his nose. He had to go to the hospital. So anything is possible. But you do know plenty of people who have uh, crushed boner pills and Red Bulls to, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't, John. I, does, I don't know what crowd you're hanging out with there in L.A., but no, just, I don't. Just, just won't check in. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that was Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez, Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, and Fox commentator Dagan McDowell. That's where those came from, not Democrats. After the announcement, former Trump National Security Advisor John Bolton uh, said that he thought that um, Tulsi Gabbard was the worst cabinet pick in history until he heard about Matt Gates. Ben Dominic, the uh, very conservative writer who founded The Federalist, wrote, quote, Let me be clear. Matt Gates is a sex trafficking, drug addicted piece of shit. He is abhorrent. There are pools of vomit with more to offer the earth than this STD riddled testament to the failure of fallen masculinity. That's just so beautiful writing. Another fan. Another fan. <laughs> A lot of fan yes. mail for Matt Gates. Um, let's start with what Trump is trying to achieve with this pick. <laughs> yeah, please, please do. Please do. So, you know, one theory is that Gates is just a wrecking ball and will go after, you know, all of Trump's enemies, people who've prosecuted Trump, uh, people who've investigated Trump, other people who displease Trump. 
Um, one theory is that this is just a loyalty test and that Trump wants to see just how high <laughs> members of Congress will jump for him. Um, a third theory that I find less persuasive is that this is somehow a bait and switch and that he's going to backtrack on Gates and then put forward someone nearly as radical but less controversial. And that person will sail through because they're not Matt Gates. What do you think here? What's your? I've seen all three of these theories circulating on the internet. I've seen people, well-credentialed, smart people offering up uh, number three. And my question for all of those people are, were you in a fucking coma from 2017 to 2021? I, know. <laughs> I think we can stipulate that Donald Trump is probably more smarter than most liberals think he is, but he's not any more strategic. He wants Matt Gates there for a couple of reasons. One, picking Matt Gates as AG angers all the people Trump wants to anger. And he, mm -hmm. like, he gets off on that. That's his kick. Mich mission accomplished. Yes, congrats. Check, check that been, box. Yes. Uh, but most importantly and most alarmingly, Matt Gates will investigate anyone Trump wants investigated and almost as importantly, will not investigate anyone Trump doesn't want, inve doesn't want investigated. He, Matt Gates is the person on this planet probably most likely to turn the Department of Justice into an arm of the Trump political operation. And that is incredibly scary. And that's why Trump wants him. And that's why people in both parties are concerned about this.